All right, this is Henry again, and I got two packages today. Now, these were actually both ordered at the same time, but uh, the way this worked out is I paid for this one, and then this one was a birthday gift. My birthday was this past Wednesday, so that's why they ship separately. So, let's go ahead and open these up. Now, unfortunately, uh, this one didn't arrive in time for my birthday. I was really, really hoping it would, but it didn't. It actually arrived one business day late, so... That's why I'm doing this unboxing video here, because otherwise I would have gotten them one at a time, and I probably wouldn't have bothered doing an eye I got a package today video for just one model kit each. But since I got two at the same time, I figured I would go ahead and open them up. Now, I'm by no means the first person to be getting this kit. In fact, several people have already put up reviews of it. It's the Master Grade Gundam Sandrock EW. And, oh shoot, it won't come out. HLJ's got this, like, form-fitting Master Grade sized mailing box. Let's see if I can split that open and maybe it out this way. Right. Okay, there we go. Got it. Alright. So, Master Grade Sandrock. And I've been kind of slow ever since I finished my B-Club resin heavy arms in Sandrock because I was looking forward to doing this as my next project. And I am. Just ended up getting it a few days later than I expected to. So anyway... You guys can probably look forward to seeing an unboxing video of this guy. Probably tomorrow, actually. Alright, now for this smaller box. Now, when this was first announced, I originally said that I wasn't going to get it. But, since I didn't pay for this, I wasn't buying any other Gunpla kits in the month of October, or November for that matter. So, I figured, why not, I'll go ahead and get it because I'm probably going to kick myself if I didn't get it and end up regretting it later on. It's a pretty small kit. Let's open this up. And there we go. The brand new B-Club 1 to 100 scale Leo. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I already made a 1 to 100 scale Leo. And uh, yeah, this kit's expensive, but... Like I said, uh, B-Club kits always, I mean, they just make one production run of them, so this thing is only going to get rarer and rarer and rarer as the years go by. Plus, it's a B-Club, which I like, and it's Gundam Wing, which I like. So, uh, and like I said, I wasn't buying any other kits for October or November, so I felt the need to go ahead and pick it up. And I'm actually looking forward to it. I really don't know when I'm going to build this kit. Huh, packing peanuts. I don't think I've ever seen packing peanuts in a resin kit before. Not inside the box anyway. I don't know when I'm going to get around to building this. I really don't. But uh, whenever I do, it'll be a pretty quick build because it's a very simple kit. It's not very complex at all. I mean, look at how small the box is. And uh, the price-wise, it is expensive, but as far as B-Club kits go, it's really not that bad. Uh, compared to their other 1 to 100 scale model kits, it's really not too bad at all. I mean, if you looked at the price tag on their new 1 to 144 scale Turn X, that, I still can't figure it out. It's like three times more expensive than this kit, even though it's a smaller scale. So anyway, Sandrock, Leo, expect a unboxing of this guy. Not sure if I'll actually do a work in progress or not, because I'm just going to be doing a standard paint job like I did with uh, Shenlong and Death Scythe L and Epion. So I'm hoping this will be a pretty quick project as well. And then I'll move on to other stuff. So that about does it for this unboxing. Or unboxing. Uh, I got a package day video, and with that, I'll see you guys next time.